I decided that, you know, I'm, I'm going to have these public, I'm going to participate in this public meeting. And let me tell you something, Bernie, this is what's amazing. The other day, God speaks to me when I sleep. And the other day when, when I woke up, God, God gave me one phrase, Bernie Thompson. And I knew exactly what he meant. And I knew as I started praying about it and, and, and getting into it that he wanted me, God wanted me to use these two minutes in the same style of persistence that Bernie Thompson has been using yes, with his. Thank you very much. And the subject, and the subject, madam, is the subject out of order. You're out of order. The whole trial is out of order. They're out of order. Mr. Wickham, I'm not out of order. I'm on this council and I can speak. Is that true? Look, I'm Zippy Longstockings. Yes, that's He's true. He's got the floor right now. Mr. Wickham, no, listen to the vice president. I'm saying he has the floor to talk about scooters, not to... Tell us why I'm going to order, sir. Your Honor, I can't talk Mr. Everybody's talking. You know, I'm being talk. Mr. be quiet. You're out of order. Zip it good. You let him do that strange. strange. Mr. Lincoln, that's Vice Mayor Strange. You'll address her properly. You can kiss my foot. Kiss it. Huh? Mr. Lincoln, you're out of order, and you guys have the right to call him out of order according to city charter. That's Vice Mayor Strange, and you will show her that respect. Are we clear? It's just, you, no, they it's, walk, you it's, walk in the room, <laughs> and it makes their head explode. It's hilarious, because he's like, you're, you're like a movie. You're like the star of your own movie, bro. You're like, you play good cop and bad cop, but it's the same actor. And in the good fight, we need a hero that takes no guff. Liars flee, and evil has no place to hide. There is only one man for the job, journalist Bernie Thompson, watchdog. He's on their trail. He's tough on corruption. He's the best of Bay. You know, Bernie, we, we love you, and we know that you're more than a regular guy. To us, you're like Bernie Thompson, the superhero, right? Uh, I think it's reasonable, what? don't you, to conclude that you not only dislike the content of our speech, but I think you dislike us all together. In recent meetings, Mayor Thomas, you've called me a jerk and ignorant. And as a matter of fact, Hector Solis called me half a man and said I was full of sh Well, you saw it was on video. Councilman John Rickard called me a fraud and told me to kiss his foot. I caught myself. Doing what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and at the last, uh, and what these guys were doing wrong was incredible. I mean, they were using their office for to benefit themselves. They were using the power of government to intimidate their critics and their neighbors and their business uh, competitors. Um, they were bullying the hell out of uh, uh, employees at City Hall. And one thing that will get my attention faster than anything is if I see a bully. Right. And if I see a bully with the power of government that is violating the public trust and abusing his power and having conflict of interest after conflict of interest. He was in every city council meeting for four straight years and filming and then taking that, making clips, publishing, talking about these guys. And I mean, just just targeting and really shining a light on them, just dragging them into the sunlight. Um, now, since the last time we talked, it was about that parking on your diner, and I asked the city for an official response, and I got an official response, and you know what they told me? They said that the, this is the official, official city response, and uh, Mr. Sale, I haven't spoken before you before, sir. Good to see you. And uh, the official response is, there is no city ordinance that prohibits parking in the street so long as it doesn't block the entire street. Now, considering you ran on the platform of cleaning up parking, can you believe that people are permitted to park anywhere in the street as long as they don't block the entire street? There are some exceptions that Chief Whitman pointed out, and we still expect you to follow the rules and have your customers not park in a manner that people have to drive into oncoming traffic just to get around your customers. And you can sigh and you can be exasperated, but just because you don't answer and just because you don't fix it doesn't mean it's ever going to go away. You can't exempt yourself from the rules the rest of us have to follow. 
you were very prepared too. I mean, <laughs> when I watched the videos on on that you had on the Facebook, which I I I think are on your YouTube channel now, um, freaking hilarious, man. And you you asked pointed questions, you know, pretty much corralled these guys into exposing themselves. So, you know, you did your homework. Look at was where can I make the biggest difference, right? Um, federal uh, government, I really can't make a difference. Not me. Uh, state government, um, it's still very difficult. But local government, I see these cats in the store, right? I can go to the meeting. Um, so I looked at what is the problem. And the problem is that these local politicians, they, they, they basically took the rule of law and turned it into the law of rulers. They thought they were our rulers. They violated our public trust, and they did it very brazenly. And here's what I did. I thought I, I, I remember George Washington's quote where he said, assert your rights or accept every imposition heaped upon you. And I don't like accepting impositions heaped upon me by these jokers. So I, I learned this is my, my approach. I no longer use the conventional approach only. I still do, but not only. My new approach was to make it's so miserable for them to be at a city council meeting that they would get they would get sick before they came they could i didn't want them to enjoy a single meeting i don't understand the anger and rage that you guys exhibited especially you mr mayor when you started cursing at the end of the meeting me yes sir oh. it was inappropriate things and we still have to listen to the same man every meeting gripe about something with no facts I am pay for play, Thomas. Everybody's got a name up here other than our own. I don't give him much respect because he doesn't show much respect. He doesn't act like a man, so I don't treat him much like one. I did get mad. I don't remember cussing him. I probably should have several times, but I don't remember. You would go live right before the meeting. Like he was at Bernie's at uh, Mike Thomas's restaurant going live about the handicap parking and all that, knowing they're watching it, mm -hmm. and they walk into that meeting, their blood pressure up, and boom, he's all, he already has it. I am here in front of a very famous diner in Panama City Beach that under no circumstances follow the rules. Mike's Diner has dangerous parking spots that I'm going to show you. It's owned by Mayor Mike Thomas, and Mayor Mike Thomas ran for office on the premise of cracking down on, uh, on parking that he called illegal, on parking that extended into the street. Uh, Mayor Mike Thomas said that that was parking that he wouldn't tolerate. After I would go speak and give my public comments, I would take, that, I would take the video from their source and I would clip it and I would post it. And then I would maybe even clip their reactions to it. And so everybody couldn't wait until the, after the meeting when, the, when my, my, my video would come out. Well, they hated the videos, right? Because I just turned the camera on them. I mean, they said it. Thomas, right? finally, the cement wall at your house that you said is out of code. Is it still out of code? Absolutely. The rest of you know this, and I want to put you on notice. You were writing code enforcement tickets for people and the mayor is out of code. It's wrong, and it might be a little. The chance of a bromance with you and I ain't gonna happen, so you can just leave me alone. So I want you to know that this is the this is the encouragement that comes from the inspiration of Bernie Thompson. I did it every single meeting, and I was respectful. I was true, but I was also asking questions like, why aren't you following the same laws that the rest of us have to follow? Why are you using your position to benefit yourself? Why are you giving your wives a raise and girlfriends big giant contracts? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, mayor, council, boyfriends and girlfriends, I want to address uh, I want to address the resolution that y'all are, are thinking about uh, tonight. And so when the, the mayor and the councilman decided they didn't want to run again, it's incredible because now we have a friendlier city council. And a lot of people think it's because the new mayor beat the contender. That's not why we have a new mayor. 
we have a new mayor because the last corrupt mayor didn't want another day for 200 days for 200 days in the last year of office he would count down during the meetings I only have 198 days left, and we would laugh like hell. Immediately, the victory has come because you have a mayor and a city councilman who said, because of Bernie Thompson, I am not going to, uh, I'm not going to run anymore. You know? uh, Bernie Thompson, 8317 from Beach Road. I just have three comments. First yes, of all, I want to thank you, sir, very, very much and salute you for restoring uh, the public comments. Um, thank you. Yes, sir. I think that the victory is not just simply in what you see every day, but the victory is doing what God has called you to do. And the victory is that you have been called to be a David and you are fulfilling that calling. The truth will have its day. When evil comes a knocking, he'll be there to protect you. Bernie Thompson is the watchdog. This summer, evil has met its match. Feel the burn, watchdog.